Oh boy. What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here. Sorry I didn't react to Fate vs. Strange, but people spoiled me. But this one I'm going to react to even if people do spoil me, because I gotta see how they do this one. Oh man. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say it, Jin wins, and I'll explain why in just a second for all you Ryu fans who don't know about Jin. I like Ryu a lot too, but the internet has pretty much already decided that Jin is the ultimate winner of this battle no matter which way you slice it. You've got other popular versus shows like Cartoon Fight Club saying Jin would win twice. You've got versus shows like mine that just kind of exist that also say Jin wins. Even much smaller versus shows that are kind of just starting out and getting on their feet like versus verdict, etc. They say Jin wins. Even non-researched fights like Arcade Mode have had Jin win. I know they tied in the one minute melee, but that's still not a Ryu win. But yeah, pretty much any versus show you can find that has done this matchup, they have all said that Jin wins this battle. So, the only real reason for Death Battle to say Ryu wins is to make up for his loss against Scorpion, or to just stand out from the crowd and be hip and cool with their unique opinion. As you can tell, I'm actually pretty worried. Death Battle does not have a good track record when it comes to fighting games, especially stuff like Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat. Street Fighter should have won, like, almost every single one of its matchups on Death Battle, but they've lost so many times. And the fact that Ryu's coming back again after losing makes me kinda worried that that losing streak is going to end on this matchup of all ones, the ones where they're actually supposed to lose. And Death Battle has never done Tekken before, so we have no idea how they're going to treat this fighting game verse, whether it be extreme downplay or just... Bleh. But anyways, let's actually get into the fight, because we're almost two minutes in here, oof. Now, all those other versus shows have had their own reasons for why Jin wins, but let's go by Death Battle standards and logic for this one. Typically, they'll always include any visual feats they can find, and very, very rarely do any scaling or take any statements into consideration, even if the statements are in the proper context to be viable. So yeah, let's go off of that. In Ryu vs. Scorpion, they placed Ryu at building level, even in his evil Ryu form. And they gave him supersonic speeds from dodging bullets. And Ryu's attacks are basically standard melee attacks with a few projectiles. Alright, now for what Jin has visually done. He can explode motorcycles with his mind, he destroyed an entire wasteland by flapping his wings, and he destroyed a forest. And Heihachi is fast enough to catch bullets, and Bob can basically run around bullets, so Death Battle would likely scale Jin to at least Heihachi since Jin beats him on a regular basis. Also, Jin flew to space in a matter of seconds, the Devil Beams can reach satellites at faster than light speeds, and then Jin has the superior powers. He has telekinesis to choke people, he has a slight healing factor as he repaired bullet wounds almost instantly, he has barriers that he used to block lasers from Azazel, which kind of mimics Ryu's power of nothingness, and he has energy stealing capabilities. So those are all the things Death Battle is likely going to include, and as you can tell, Jin should win. He's stronger, faster, and has better abilities. But again, Death Battle has never used Tekken before, so we don't know if they're gonna donk up the verse or not. Anyways, in my own personal stats for Jin and Ryu, um, Jin still wins, even harder. By my standards, I have Evil Ryu up at island level because he should be comparable to at least basic Kuma, with the power of the Satsui no Hado infesting them both. And he's at hypersonic to massively hypersonic speeds. Jin, I have at planet level. I know that sounds crazy, but let me explain. There are several consistent planet level statements about Azazel in Tekken 6 and in Tekken 7. They even emphasize the difference between the vague use of the word world and the actual physical planet Earth. Plus, the statements are in the proper context to be viable in verses. They're not just bluffs or anything. And since even the fodder of the Tekken verse is able to destroy a meteor that comes out to large continent levels of power, it's not very far-fetched for the top tiers like Jin to be able to reach up the planet. Especially since characters weaker than Jin are still able to one-shot and completely shatter an army of these large continental fodders. Then of course there's the faster than light laser thing I mentioned before, all Jin's different abilities, yada yada yada. You see my stats for Jin. But anyways, back to Death Battle. Considering what they've said about Street Fighter in the past and what they've shown for Ryu, there is no reason for Jin to be able to lose this. So let's hope they don't donk it up.